this just sums up Chloe. Luna's going through a phase of the bear suit. Oh my god, she's already wearing purple. <gasps> Hi everybody, it's Blossom and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. This episode is going to be spread out over a couple of days. Um, in this episode, first things first, what I want to do is, I actually don't know if she's going to say yes, but we're going to ask Chloe to be our girlfriend because this technically needs to be a relationship because it's going to be a failed relationship. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get that done and over with, and also, we're going to be having the baby in this part. So yeah, I basically want to have the baby, and I also want the baby to age up to a toddler all in this same part, just because we're pretty much, like, done with his generation, and the baby's not even born. Um, so yeah, really, all we need to do is we need to work on our parenting skills just a little bit. Um, and we also need to make sure we still have our family movie nights. And then he also needs to get married, um, to a different sim. So we'll also work on all that stuff. But, like, we're mostly done with him. His parenting skill is level 7. So I'm going to really try, like, with this baby to get it up. Because it's super easy with babies. Um, but let's see really quickly. Let's wake up Miss Luna and we're going to have Ash help her with her homework since, uh, that'll be a really nice way to get the parenting skill up. If we can do it, there we go. That way we're still working on it. Okay guys, so basically Chloe is in her third trimester with Ash's baby and she is wanting a ring on her finger. She wants to marry Ash um, because she wants his money. She wants his money. So she thinks that her being pregnant will um, kind of make him put a ring on it. But Ash is really not like budging, I guess you could say but he is extremely excited for the birth of this baby i don't know i feel like ash is just a little like confused in his life right now his life is really confusing him oh my goodness guys it's happening we are going to have um ash leave work early what the heck is that back pain from pregnancy girl okay so we're gonna join her and we're gonna bring Ash with us. Of course we're bringing Ash and I'm so excited. This is our last baby, which this is the heir. Also, I know some of you guys wanted me to do the four babies, but I just think for the length of this generation and challenge, we really need to pop out this heir, which as you guys know, I stated at the beginning of the series, all the heirs are going to be the last baby of the generation. So, <laughs> oh, we got a raise and he left early. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and head over here. Oops, wrong thing. <laughs> and we're going to check in at the front desk. Oh, why did he not come? Oh, no. No, I really want him to be here. <gasps> that is so sad. Okay, uh, as long as we're here, we'll pretend that Ash is here because I can't control a bug in the game. But we'll pretend that Ash is here. Um, I think. Oh my gosh. I really hope it's a girl. I'm so nervous. Here we go. Here's our doctor. Not this again. Not. No. Please. Not like this. No. Not like this. <laughs> Please be a girl. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a girl okay everybody so i feel like the obvious choice for the name would be violet but i feel like that was a little too too like it's too purple like it's too obvious so i saw this name that one of you guys commented iris i think that's so pretty i love it so we're naming her iris i Oh, I'm so excited. We have officially birthed the Plum Generation Baby. 
This is Iris Berry. She looks horrified of her mom. Can you guys see her? This just sums up. <laughs> this just sums up Chloe. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and head back home. And I'm not too sure where we're going to put Iris yet. She's obviously probably going to end up sharing a room with uh, Luna. But... Um... Maybe not when she's a baby, because that'll be kind of annoying for Luna. So let me see where they put her. I'm gonna see if we can fit her in um, Ash's bedroom, but I don't think so. We might have to move this dresser. Maybe if we move the dresser, we'll be able to fit her in here. Yeah, that works. Just, just while she's a baby, and then of course we'll give her a proper toddler bedroom and stuff like that. Okay, so we got a pretty big household right now. So first things first, we need Ash to go take care of the baby and we need you to go to sleep. Okay, we need you to go to the bathroom and then play video games and we need you, is your homework done? Okay, do your extra credit work and then just go to sleep. <laughs> so we're going to be very, very like on this baby because we need to get his... um his skill up his parenting skill up so we're just gonna bounce the baby a million times <laughs> even though the baby probably does not need bouncing yeah so <laughs> we're just gonna be a very good dad i mean he already is oh my goodness chloe just tried to steal moon's money and now they hate each other now they hate each other so that's fine. Also, the baby just woke up, so we have to just take care of the baby. Um, so yeah, they hate each other now, but they're laughing with each other. Look, Luna's like, what's going on in here? She's like, what just happened? Go eat some cheese crackers. Just take yourself out of the situation. <laughs> She's like so evil, like trying to steal our son's money. Like, look at her. She's like... What is she doing? What the heck is going Guys. on? Guys, <laughs> Luna's going through a phase of the bear suit. So Luna is in her bear, her little bear outfit. She's just, you know, vibing. Nothing crazy, you know? Also, I think he just finished a painting. Let's see what it looks like really quickly. Let's go upstairs and see. Oh, he didn't even finish it. Why won't he finish it? I just want him to finish one thing and he never does. Why does she have so many bad moods? Oh, we need to solve her cycle. Also, look at this. Dad of the year. We need to send him to get some sleep, though. Why can't they woohoo? Oh, he's so, he's too sad. Oh, from a friend's death? Who is he thinking about? It's either Demi or Venus. I don't know. I don't really know. Oh my god, he's crying into his fruit salad. He's crying right in there. Oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Who's calling you? Do you wish you looked as happy as I do? Well, you have the power. to send one simoleon to me. Don't delay. Happiness is just a some Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Don't fall for the scam. Why? She's just taking a bath. Like, what is she doing? Also, why is she wearing a headband? Can you guys see her headband? What is this? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. So Ash just went to work. And so that means like Moon has to take care of um the baby. Baby Iris. Aww. Because look where she is. <laughs> anyway. Let's just give her some sunburn protection why not oh what a good big brother oh my gosh so cute also we really need to turn the thermostat off because it is spring now it's spring now so we don't need that on all right guys so as you know um luna is in a bear phase so we're gonna see if ash can work it through with her and see what's going on so we're gonna first just talk about the bear costume we're just gonna ask her you know what's going on why is she you know wearing the bear costume very very simple 
Let me see. And then we'll ask her about the phase. I'm a bear, there's nothing you can do to change that. Well, I guess you could talk to me about the costume. Maybe you could dress as a bear as well. So it sounds like she wants us to wear the bear costume with her. Maybe she's feeling kind of lonely and alone. So we're gonna wear the bear costume with her. Because we support our girl Luna. We love her so much. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give her a big hug because Luna deserves the world and we want her to be happy because she has not had the easiest childhood. She's had kind of um, a messed up family life, um, as good of a dad Ash is. You know, the loss of her birth mother, like her real mom, you know, really, really affected her. So I feel like she's struggling a little bit and especially when she's a teenager, I feel like Luna's gonna kind of go through a little bit of like a rebellion Okay, why is Moon in the bathroom? Okay, I just love this now. Like, <laughs> what is <laughs> the bear family? Like, <laughs> I can't. Um, but, so yeah, let me see when we can age up our girl, um, Iris. Oh, we can age her up today. Okay, let's see if he has to work. He has to work in seven hours, so we could age her up before he goes to work today we've got chloe down here isolating herself from the rest of the family as usual it is family movie night so we're definitely going to be doing um a movie night tonight with the family also i think now is a good time to check the family tree let's see if uh boyd and blaine have maybe started families uh oh it doesn't look like they have oh wait oh my gosh Oh my god, Boyd got married. He's a freelance crafter and he got married he got married to Amelia and they have a daughter named Evan Evangeline? I don't know how to say her name, I'm sorry. And then we have Oh my god <gasps> He's married to Oh wait, I thought this was Oh my god, that is the mayor. He is married to the mayor. <gasps> I knew it. And he has two kids. He's got Lucian and Kimberly. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe they both got married. That makes me so happy. I also, let me see something. So we're gonna go over to, let's look at Lloyd's part of the family. So, wait. Wait, I know you're joking. I know you're joking they did not get married. I know you're actually, you are not telling me that the brother and sister duo got married. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, whose kids are these? This is Eliana Munch. Munch's daughter, and this is Crystal. He has three baby mamas. And right now he is married to his stepsister. I'm not kidding when I say this, guys. Let's take a look. So, Lloyd is the offspring of, oh gosh, this is gonna get confusing. Okay, of Rosie and Xander, who were married for a short period of time, but then Rosie divorced him and got married to um, where is she? Why is she not loading? Wait, what? Oh gosh, she's not on here. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember her name. <gasps> Jewel! Jewel, I'm sorry. I'm bad. Okay, so Rosie ended up marrying Jewel at the very end of the Rose generation. And Jewel had already had this kid with her ex-husband. They grew up together. And you're going to sit here and tell me that they now have a baby together and they're married? I genuinely... I, I genuinely cannot believe that I'm looking at this right now and I wish that they didn't because that is so not good. I, I can't believe that. 
I can't believe that. That makes me so sad. Because, like, that should not be happening. That should not be a thing. I don't, I don't like All that. Alright, guys. Ash goes to work in two hours, though. He did reach parenting level nine, by the way. Or he goes in one hour now. So, we're going to really quickly age up Iris. I'm so nervous. So, she is getting a wild trait. Oh my god, she's got gray hair. Oh my, oh my god. She's already wearing purple. Oh my gosh. She's already wearing purple, guys. Oh my goodness. This makes me so excited. Okay, so I want to take her into um, cast right away. Because I just want to see her. Like, this is our purple gen baby. So, I think we are not... I might have to see if we have a purple hair for a toddler and a child even. Okay, so her eyebrows... So, she has got this hair color. So, let's see. Um, let me fix the UI really quickly. Okay, let me give her um, a base game hair or a regular hair. So, she has this one. Is that right? So it's not the dark brown. I think this is a new swatch. Let me see. It looks kind of new. I can't really tell. I think it's one of the new swatches. I'm not 100% sure, but... Oh, wait. I can, I can tell if I put a cut C CC hair on. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's... um. I think it's a new hair, which is fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and give her a makeover. Um, I'll see if I can find a hair that's purple. Uh, like, I guess the obvious thing would be to do, like, this hair. Like, this, I mean, this hair swatch. This hair comes with lots of colors, so we could have lots of options if we do this hair. But part of me, you know, feels like, would she really have purple hair as a toddler? Like, I don't know. I mean, all of our heirs technically have, but... I don't know. I might have to think about it. I'm going to look for some hairs and I will let you guys know. Okay, guys. Her hair keeps changing color, but I hope it doesn't. Here is Iris's makeover. She's got all purple plummy outfits. Um, I think this hair color is the closest to plum out of all of them. There's a lot of selection for the purple shades. Um, it was between like maybe like this one and this one, but this looks more plum to me i don't know if that makes sense but i really really like how she looks she's super cute for you know her little toddler phase um and i'm excited for her to grow up already like i can't wait i'm so excited to give her like her first initial teenage purple makeover or plum makeover if i say purple or plum you guys know what i'm talking about right because i think it's gonna get a little confusing um trying to say plum all the time when i like, my brain thinks it's purple, um, if that makes any sense. But what we need to do now is squeeze her in the room with um, with Luna, which this shouldn't be too hard. We have a lot of room over here in this section. We can just get rid of the uh, bookshelf here, and we could easily add another bed here for Miss um, Iris. So let's really quickly, let's see what we've got here in the purple selection of beds. I would like for it to be the same bed that Luna has because that would just look better and I'm totally fine with changing Luna's bed as well. I really like this one. And then maybe we could give um we could give her the this bed. That could work. So if we're gonna oops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> if we're gonna do this, it would be something a little bit like that. What is this bed by the way? <laughs> what is going on here? Um, or we could do, like, this bed. Is there a gray option? There is. Ooh, I do like that one, too. Oh, gosh, this is so hard. I hate, like, decorating, but love it at the same time. Like, it's hard, but it's fun. So, I think we're gonna keep that for now. I want to give her a proper little side table here. Which, we'll just give her, like, a brown one. I don't really like that one, actually. Maybe, like, this one? I don't know if those browns match. Don't come for me. Um, so, I don't even... 
know how to decorate her room because I don't even know anything really about the plum generation. Um, so basically this one, it, she, it doesn't have like a specific like theme, just basically like a very indecisive sim, I guess you could say. But I'm just going to add some basic decorations in her room. So of course, pops of purple everywhere, which is what we really need. And we'll also add like a little, maybe one of these in the corner over here. Oh, I can't really do that actually, never mind. I don't feel like, I don't feel like doing the whole fancy stuff. Let's add like a little, like toys in the corner. I don't know. Oh, I need to move objects on. What am I doing guys? Also, I just realized that she's a toddler, not a kid. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm trying to give her a child bed, okay? I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. So she is going to need a potty. And we'll also get her um, an iPad really quickly. If I can remember where it is, I'll put it just right there. And she might also need, let's see what else we've got. We could give her like, I don't know, we can't like, like this area right here looks so blank to me. Like, I don't know if I want to do like a table or something. I really don't know. All right, guys. So here is the final thing or the final look of the bedroom between Luna and um, Iris. So I added like a little accent purple wall over here in her area of the room. She's got her potty over here, her bed, and just a little table on the side, and she's got a pretty poster, and I actually should probably add the uh, defender light, because hopefully she won't wake up from nightmares then, so we're gonna go ahead and add a little night light over here. I feel like our bed is so far away from the wall. Do you guys feel like that? I don't really know, but, um, so yeah, she's got, and then of course, um, Luna's room over here stays pretty much the same i think i might also just change the color of this to kind of tie in the purple from the other side of the bedroom um so yeah so first things first we want to get um iris potty train i think he has to go to work so we're gonna have moon do it because moon is gonna be the best big brother ever um and he's gonna help out a lot with iris because um miss girl over here is not so we're gonna have moon do it he is the cutest he's such a good big brother to both luna and iris and he cares for them so freaking much he loves them just like they're his own um so yeah let's see we'll have him get some food after he finishes doing a little first potty training session okay he goes to work in two minutes perfect and then after she potty trains once we'll just send her off to bed also, it is raining here in Brindleton Bay. It's pretty rainy. Alright. Um, oh, she's sad. From Para not being around. And her mom is right downstairs. But, of course, her mom does not really spend any time with her. Alright, guys. Ash is about to be home. What? What the heck? Okay. Ash is about to be home and it is family movie night, so you guys know what that means. First off, um, let me just wake up. Okay, so hold on. Hold on, we're gonna not include Chloe. I don't know if that's mean. Okay, so we're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna watch um, A Lost Dog's Journey Home with Luna and Moon. And then of course we'll kind of add her in here, so we're gonna teleport her down here. Perfect, and then she can go ahead and watch the movie, and then they should be coming downstairs as well. Ma'am! Oh my gosh, she already like missed like half of the movie. Oh, you better go sit right there. I want a cute family picture with you in your bear suit. You can sit. Okay, I guess she can't, so let's see if we can take a little cute family picture of all of them it's gonna be like the weirdest picture but you guys get the idea so this is our most recent um family movie night with our newest edition iris this is her first movie night oh my god so adorable and she's upstairs taking a bath so that's fun <laughs> i love this family so freaking much 
Um, okay, now that the movie's over, we're gonna go ahead and have um, Moon go back up here and potty train Iris. And let's see, we'll have you come take a shower. Oh my gosh, my girl is not feeling good up here. Moon's got little Iris in his arms. So cute. Okay, I replaced um, Moon with Ash because Ash needs to work on his parenting skill anyways. So we're just going to have him potty train Iris for the last little bit. Okay, that was the weirdest hug ever, but all right, let's try it again. Okay, it, why can't they hug? You'll be okay. There we go. So cute. Let's brighten her day. So she is feeling a little bit sleepy, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can put her to bed. I don't know if we can because of the nightstand, but we will try. Oh, it looks like we can. Yay. There's like a wet spot under her bed, though. Um, okay, who made a cake? I think she made a cake because she's on her period. Um, that's nice. So we will have him clean that really quickly. Who the heck? Okay, <laughs> Venus is over here watching TV. Like, nothing. Interesting, interesting indeed. My girl will, like, go, just go to the bathroom. I don't know what is going on with Chloe right now, guys. She is not feeling well. Okay, guys, it's Monday morning. The kids are off to school. And I would like to wake up both little Iris and um, Ash. Because, like I said before, I really need him to work on his parenting skill. Because I don't want to, like, forget about it or anything like that. So we're going to first uh, just teach her some things. And then we're also gonna do some flashcards teach her her basic needs um because she needs that and we just got our bills so you know who we're gonna send to pay the bills miss chloe we're gonna go ahead and have her pay the bills i feel like right now chloe just is so like confused as to why ash is not asking her to marry her or anything like that um She's just kind of irritated, and she's not really being a good mom either at all, as you guys can see. So Ash is kind of getting kind of an ick from her. He's like, why are you not, like, caring about Iris at all? Like, this is a little strange. So I feel like Ash is almost ready to be done with Chloe and maybe reading through all of her lies a little bit. He's probably finally discovering that she's really not the best person. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to end this episode off here. I feel like it was very, very short, but um, I just really wanted to use this episode to give birth to the purple plum gen baby. Um, in the next part, I have a lot of playing off camera to do. I think I'm going to play off camera until I think it's Thursday, which Thursday is going to be... Um, birthdays we're having birthdays for luna and moon i might record until the day before that because there are some other things i want to do but with all of that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the not so very challenge if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you all in my next one bye guys